Hi guys, um, welcome to today's um, tutorial with RAM. This is a very quick tutorial. Um, I posted this image on my left, which I named um, the Sun Goddess on my Instagram page, and it caught a lot of attention. And it's actually trending, and um, I've had a lot of requests to teach or explain how I created this image, and so I'm gonna do that. So I created this image from the image, the image on my left, from the image on my right. As you can see and um, mind you the image on my right is already retouched so there's just a quick um, tutorial to explain how I created this effect on the image on the on the left so let's jump into it all right okay so there we are um, with this image there's the before straight out of camera with the shoot I did with monadicos um, with the accessories and um, styling and also um, with Emmy Lash, who happens to be my makeup artist, and also um, this beautiful model, um, Gimbia. Alright, so we jump into it. The first thing um, you would have to do with this image uh, would be to create a solid color adjustment layer, and then you choose white as your color. Okay, you fill it with white. Now, when you do this, it fills everything with white. The next thing you want to do is to change the blend mode to exclusion and this blend mode is very important I use it a lot in my cinematic tonings and vintage tonings or vintage color grading whenever you want to create a vintage tone I think you'll find this helpful um, all you have to do is to select let me just show you quickly to select a color down here see something like this but then for today let's not go into all that I don't want to um, divert attention but then let's just fill this with white and then change the blend mode to Exclusion. Now the next thing is to right click on the layer and then choose the blending options. Now in the blending options, you would want to come to the blend if and drag the layer, the underlying layer. You want to drag this on the highlights, the slider on your on the right hand side to all the way down. And what you are doing is that you are wiping the effect from the highlights and constraining it to the shadows over here. Conversely, if we lift, if we slide from left to right, we are lifting it off the shadows all the way to the highlights. So the blend mode, the, the blend diff is actually very important. One of the most important techniques or tools you'd have to understand in Photoshop or in retouching. So we'll move this, the slider from right to left to somewhere around here, 30, 39, and then we hold Alt and break this into two so that we'll be able to feather the effect of you get it because the transition is a bit um too sharp so we want to feather it all the way down here and i think we're good so now that we're good at it this is the before and after so we came in here to do the blend if all right then the next thing is that i'll use my regular brush with flow and opacity set to 100 I would come to my layer mask here and then wipe the effect off the eye the, um, the eye that's the left eye and then also the lips and the nose and then I'll change my opacity to 50 then wipe it a bit off the, no the ear okay so I think we are good now all right so the next thing we want to do is to stamp this bowl layer so now we have the image here with the um the sun in the hair but it's not glowing do you get it we don't feel the rays and all that i see in the actual image or the final image uh, we don't see it here so we are going into the step that would create that um glow and also the the effect of the rays coming out okay from um, from the hair so what we'll do is I will just hold Control Alt Shift E to stamp visible layer. Control Alt Shift E, that's a shortcut. If, if you are familiar with the shortcuts, it's gonna help you a lot. Okay, and then we wanna press Control Shift U to desaturate. Now, if you don't know where, if you don't, you're not familiar with the shortcut, what you can do is to come to the image here, go to adjustments, and then down to. Um, 
desaturate here so you can see the shortcut or the command shift control u to desaturate now that we have this we'll go to our filter down to blur and then we'll come down to radial blur okay all right so by default it's set to spin and then amount is one so what we want to do is that and then this is set centered so you want to drag the center of this and move it slightly up because on the actual canvas you can see here the eyes are a bit displaced they are not at the epicenter the eyes are actually um, slightly above center so what we are going to do is we're going to create the rays to converge where the eyes are okay that's why we are moving the center to the to the eyes where the eyes seem to be on the canvas okay then we would bring this blur method to zoom the quality good is okay and bring the amount up all the way to about um 61 is fine and we hit okay all right so there we have our effect there we have our effect awesome so the next thing we want to do is to reduce the opacity okay all the way to about um i think 57 is fine this image okay so we'll pick up our brush tool opacity set to 100 with black as our foreground color we're going to throw an, um, a layer mask over this and they want to wipe the effect off the face okay as you can see wipe the effect off the face awesome okay okay so there we are then the next thing we want to do which we could have done before doing the the or creating the rays or the special effect is to convert to black and white because i know i'll definitely be converting to black and white i i didn't really bother myself about this color um, difference here so we could have actually converted it to black and white before doing creating the effect so i'll just throw um a gradient map over this my gradient should be black to white okay black to white black in the in the shadows and the white in the highlights all right so we have this now i didn't use the regular black and white because i wanted i wanted a bit more of um, contrast in the image you get it so you can still come down with the opacity a bit or maybe black and white here okay oh, that's too much 50 yeah, that's fine all right so there we have it the next thing we want to do is to come with the layers um increase the blacks a bit and the whites also and then we are good to go just to add a bit of contrast okay all right so the stamp is both there and we have our effect so this is before and this is after before and after a very quick uh, process on how i created the sun goddess so if you like this tutorial just um, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to follow me on IG for more content at ramstudios underscore gh i'll see you guys later bye